happy Sunday, everyone. Uh, Miss Amy and I miss you and we love you so, so much. Um, we cannot wait for the day that we're able to gather back at church so that we can see everybody face to face. So last week, I asked the parents to prank their kids. And let me just say, all of your videos were gold. Um, but this week's challenge, we're gonna do a mini scavenger hunt. So I'm gonna be asking you to find three things. Doesn't seem pretty hard, right? But wait till you hear what those three things are. The first thing is that I want you to find a rainbow in a box. The second thing is that I want you to find something that is fake, but that looks real. And the third thing is, is I want you to find something that reminds you of church or me or Miss Amy. And it cannot be a Bible. Even though a Bible should remind you of church, that's just too easy. So I look forward to what you discover. Hey everyone. So you're probably wondering why I'm on the staircase this week. But before I answer that question, I have a question for you. Do you think that if I jumped off this step that I could float up? Now, you're probably thinking, no, there's no way that she can. But if you remember two weeks ago, you didn't think I could turn a banana into an orange, but I did anyway. So we're going to see who's right. One, two, three. Okay, I did not go up. You were right. There's no way that I could float up. But today, we're going to learn about the last day that the disciples were with Jesus and how he returned to his Father in heaven. This week, our Bible study lesson is about Jesus' ascension into heaven. And if you want to, you can turn to Luke chapter 24, verses 50 through 53 to follow along. During the 40 days after he rose from the dead, Jesus appeared many times to the disciples. He taught them about the kingdom of God and explained how the Old Testament pointed to his death and his resurrection. Now it was time for them to share this good news of salvation with the world. So Jesus commanded his disciples, who had seen it all with their own very eyes, to preach the gospel to everyone. But Jesus didn't send the disciples out right away. He told them to wait for the promised Holy Spirit to come and they would receive power from heaven. Jesus said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. Then Jesus led them on a walk to Bethany, the little village near the Mount of Olives. The disciples asked, Lord, is this the time when you are going to make Israel its own kingdom again? Jesus told them that they were not allowed to know the days his father set for such things. And then he said, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Then Jesus raised his hands and blessed his disciples. As he did, he began to lift from the ground. The disciples watched as Jesus rose up into heaven. Finally, far up in the sky, a cloud hid him from their sight. While they were watching, two men in white robes appeared. Men of Galilee, they said, why are you standing there looking up into heaven? This Jesus, who had taken up from you into heaven, will someday come back in the same way you saw him go. Then the disciples worshiped Jesus and returned to Jerusalem full of joy. They spent much of their time in the temple, praising and thanking God for all that they had seen. Did you notice something different about the disciples in this story? Not one of them doubted. At first, Jesus re resurrection, the disciples doubted and didn't believe Jesus rose from the dead. But over time, they all came to believe. Finally, after watching Jesus return to heaven, they worshiped him and were filled with joy. We might have expected them to be sad about losing Jesus, but they weren't though. Jesus had promised to prepare a place for them in heaven and come back to take them there. The two men in white robes also reminded the disciples that Jesus would come back someday. Today, we are still waiting for that glorious day when Jesus will return. One day, he will come back on the clouds to the sound of a loud trumpet. Christians who are alive on that day will be gathered up to meet him in the sky. Welcome to another question and answer portion of our Bible lesson today. So just like previous weeks, Miss Amy will read the question and before you hear our answer, just pause the video and try to talk about the answer among yourselves first. The first question is, what is happening to Jesus in the picture? So 
so in this picture, the disciples are watching as Jesus floated up into the heavens and disappeared, similar to the way that we would watch a balloon fly up into the sky. But Jesus would not leave them for long. Soon the Holy Spirit would come and fill the disciples. And because Jesus and the Holy Spirit are one, Jesus would be returning to them. The last question is, what does the angel encourage the disciples to remember? Two men in white robes, it says, two angels appeared to the disciples right after Jesus ascended into heaven. And the angels reminded the disciples that it's okay that Jesus left because he is going to return one day. Now remember, the angels didn't say specifically when Jesus would return. The Bible tells us that no one knows, but that we can trust it because the Bible tells us it is true. So God promises us promises us that he will send Jesus back one day. We hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and just like the previous weeks, turn in your pictures for the scavenger hunt to me by Friday. Friday is the last day as long as you get it in by midnight. And just as a reminder, the three things that you need to get is one, a rainbow in a box, two, something that is fake but that looks real, and three, something that reminds you of church or Miss Mary Helen, which is me, or Miss Amy, but it cannot be a Bible because even though Bible should remind you of church, that is way too easy. And um, we hope to see you soon. Hope you have a great week. Bye. Bye.